Hello there. In 2015, the African Union created a master plan that would transform Africa into a global powerhouse. One of the priorities of that plan is the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, which will create a single market for goods, services, and people. In 2020, Nigeria signed that agreement. However, the implementation has been very slow. What do Nigerians think about a single African market that will allow the free flow of goods, services, and people? Find out this and more on this exciting episode of Street Views on Omenera TV. I am AJ Kingsley. I, I think um, the idea is, is, is right. It's okay. Uh, and, and it's going to benefit um, uh, lots of uh, countries in Africa. And it's saying that um, um, when you have a situation whereby uh, there is no inhibition, there is no limitation to how people can move from one country to another in Africa uh, to trade and, of course, to exchange uh, goods and services and even ideas is going to go a long way in um, ensuring togetherness, Africanness and unity among Africans in the continent. That's one. It's also going to um, improve our relationship, you know, amongst um, one another in terms of uh, trade, culture um, and even uh, um, dealings even among uh, member nations in africa yes actually this kind of a uh, step it's we're going to encourage more people to invest within themselves in africa and it will also promote our culture our economic and it will also provide uh, more job opportunities for other people within the africa and at Nigeria, I mean in Nigeria and uh, Africa at large. It's going to be a welcome idea if the program could be implemented in Nigeria so that it will benefit the rest of Africa as well because there will be free trade of uh, goods and services and everything. And at the same time, it will uh, also boost our economy. So for we as a youth, if we have the privilege and the opportunity to move from one African country to another to be able to establish ourselves. So I think they should be very, very happy about that. Um, basically, as a tech expert, um, is going to open a lot of doors for us. Um, we have, you know, a lot of businesses growing in Kenya, in Egypt, in South Africa, in Rwanda. And, you know, having that open doors across all the continent is, is going to really give that energy to people that want to explore new markets so we have brands in nigeria that want to explore new market that want to help people in congo in um in Ethiopia. but you know the freedom to just get your visa try to travel on a very high expense has caused a lot of you know in the internet to this uh, set of people so if we can have that united africa that you can easily access you can see europe europe is moving a lot faster because you can go from one place to another as an european but as an african we can't leave nigeria basically maybe west african countries easily but we have a lot of talent out there that businesses can strive using them we have a lot of smart people when you go to ghana you see them when you go to mali you see them these people can help build a better africa an Africa that our currencies will have value, an Africa that businesses will be at the global level, an Africa that produces its own stuff, and you know, people out there can also consume it. We have a lot of natural resources. Imagine a smart Nigerian going to another country to help them capitalize on their resources or improve things. 
right all those are what me personally i feel can help you know africa as a continent to actually drag with the big guys out there we are facing a lot of bottleneck in getting passport in nigeria now because we've applied for passport for the past um, um two months or so now they said it's going to take about three months to get a passport so those are the things government need to put in place before we uh, this uh, be, this could be implemented in a very serious way i would just appeal that you try and look deeply into the matter and act fast on it so it's be able to help us to achieve our aim thank you well actually i would like to encourage our government because uh as Nigeria known as a giant of Africa, so I will implore and I will appeal to our government to make a giant steps and actualize this dream to come true because it will be of benefit not only to Nigeria alone but to Africa at large. You know, um, signing the agreement is one step implementing it and making sure it works is another step i want them to you know make sure this is faster right we have a lot of potentials that will capitalize on that and africa is going to benefit massively from that if they can speed it up if they can hasten it please our government please try and do that look at the number of um, youth that have graduated and they have they have no job it's going to create job opportunities you know, for our youth, that's one. It's going to um, uh, enhance um, entrepreneurial ability and entrepreneurship among youth in the country. You can just imagine a system whereby youth that graduate without having jobs and they are getting ideas on establishing one industry or the other. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even if they establish uh, industries, where are they going to sell it? Who will buy from them? When these um, agreement is implemented is going to open doors for our youth you know to move their goods and services to other nations in Africa do you understand what I'm saying why other youths from other African nations will come do you understand what I'm saying and they run by together it's going to boost a lot of um, you know uh, young graduates you know who are eager to go into uh, entrepreneurship do you understand what I'm saying to actually grow their businesses and of course, um, enhance their productivity. That's one, two. It's going to create what I would call uh, hubs, business hubs in the African continent, where you have youth, you know, uh, partnering together, you know, to create um, industries, enterpr uh, enterprises, you know, uh, factories, where other African youth will be, uh, will have the opportunity to work in. So it's, by and large, it's going to benefit particularly the youth in the African continent if this agreement is implemented. And also I would advise Nigerian government to speed it up. Yeah, it has been agreed, it has been signed, but we need implementation. Intra-African trade accounts for only 15% of the continent's total trade. We believe that the AFTA would help lift millions of Africans out of poverty and create many opportunities. For businesses we thereby encourage the government of nigeria and other african countries to speedily implement the african continental free trade agreement so that prosperity and progress will abound in africa until i come your way again next time i remain aj kingsley bye bye